Okay, microphone seems to be working. Scene, I'm here. Okay, let's go. Okay, so recap. Uh, we're headed into a spooky castle to try and find out why uh, villagers are turning into pigs. ACAB. Um, yep, just beat a boom. Optional boss. And now we're just going to press on. So, um, when I played this before, I remember it was actually quite frustrating. But I can't remember the specific reason why, so... That's a boo. It's everyone's favourite ghost. Well, most everyone. Max HP is 7, attack is 3, defense is 0. It's nothing to write home about on the attack side, but it can turn invisible. If it turns invisible, we won't be able to hit it, so beat it while you can see it. Boo's are kind of cute, but I sure want to meet one in a dark alley. If I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night side, well, I'd never, never you mind what I'd do. is annoying as heck. Jump in the air like you just don't care. Oops. Rude.
kind of hard to pull off Gimbella's stylish attack, but I would love the little flip she does, so. Yeah. So, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, I'm kind of sleepy at the moment from work, so. If I seem tired, it's because I am. that uh, the expression boos have on their face when their attacks miss is actually exactly the same expression I've got in my uh, profile picture on Twitter. Booze is good booze. Already been that way. Comes the mist again. Thanks a lot, Stephen King. Now that I think about it, the bats are annoying as well. That's a swooper. I bet they call it that because of the way it swoops around. Wow, that's so awesome naming work. Seriously, pure naming genius. So anyway, max HP is 6, attack is 3, defense is 0. It says here it hangs from the ceiling. If you can just damage it, it also drops the ceiling, then you can whack it. Stone There we 
we go. Just eliminate this one first because it has an item and I don't want it using that on me. store. Saw this. Does this area have a point? The enemies don't respawn. Okay. I <sighs> think I've said before, but I love the aesthetic of this chapter. Oh, 
Shouldn't have done that. Hey, Froy, how's it going? Any luck with that boss in there, uh, Paper Mario? The Origami King? Ah, close. like I mean I had a lot of trouble with the uh, final boss of Mario and Luigi so I just gave up It's good to take a break from hard bosses and uh, try them later. Of course, in my case, uh, it was more like I tried again later and still couldn't win after five hours. So, yep, I just gave up. That's good. Is this like the in-game tutorial or is it more like a, or are you watching a how-to video on YouTube or something? You can body slam in mid-air, but... <laughs> hey, there's no shame in needing a bit of help. Baz. Um, basically at work every day today, so yeah, kind of sleepy from this morning. Uh, this Friday we're going to Ooh, a thing. A weird leaf, you say? Yeah, on Friday it becomes mandatory to wear masks in a store. So we're going to have to enforce that at work, which I'm really not looking forward to. Because, well, unlike the US, we've got, well, I mean, today we literally had a kid fret and one of the duty managers with a wrench. Which, I mean, it was actually quite a small wrench, it was actually kind of funny, but... And he was obviously, uh, the uh, manager, not the um, kid, was laughing about it, but... That was just over. Oh, thanks, Roy. 
Yeah, don't worry, I'll get some sleep after I've streamed. Well, I've already had a nap, so... This is more my, um... Relaxation time. I mean, as previously stated, this is my favourite chapter. But of course, we're nearing the end of it. Okay, I remember this bit. Yeah, I'm still not quite sure if I want to get it. It does look good. I've still got to complete Xenogear Chronicles and... Just do that. <laughs> oh, had a lot of slow down there. To be fair, with bosses I do tend to get a bit uh, stuck on them, so maybe I'll just read a few more reviews or get it on sale later. Yes! The only thing about these boos is because they just have that sort of um, momentary pause of their tongue animation or their tag, it's kind of hard to get it down. Yeah, to be honest, oh, Boos are actually one of my favourite uh, Mario enemies. Just like the design of them. I mean, they're shaped like a friend, they hate being seen by people. But they're just so relatable.
Okay, everyone, you ready for the absolutely, definitely final boss of this chapter? Okay, what voice to give this guy? Hey there, Slick. What are you doing interrupting my me time? This is the monster the mayor is talking about? You gotta be kidding me. Who are you calling a monster? What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking of new pranks and stuff. It's not easy either. Now get lost. Of course you guys won't. No way you need to go away quietly, am I right? Well, alright then, Slick. Fine, yeah. I turned the villagers into pigs. Big deal. Big deal? You big jerk. Why'd you do something like that? Well... You know, they're all so depressing and boring and dim-witted all the time. So instead of wallowing gloom, I think they might as well wallow in mud. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, it's a, it does sort of quite heavily imply that they're a child, so... Now the pigs get it. Isn't that just, like, so perfect? It's like irony or something. The use of words expressing something other than their literal intention. So what, you got a problem with that? I guess you do, so let's play Slick. Okay, let's do this. Okay, question marks, let's do this. Bella, grass on him. I don't know how to pronounce that. Wow, how totally bizarre. This thing isn't even listed in here. There's a monster in here that looks like this thing, but it doesn't list a name. Max HP is 40, attack is 4, defense is 0. It's apparently really good at transforming itself and other things. Maybe it used that power to turn the villagers into pigs. This thing's a real jerk. Yik yik yik! I guess I'm gonna get down and dirty if you're gonna pull your back slick. Ooh, okay, that's a pretty hard hit, but. I can hit harder. Yeah, he has quite a fun character. Shame his chapter's um, so short. <coughs> I mean, yep, we just beat him and then it's over. Nothing else happens. Hmm, time to regroup here. So you think you're a couple of heavies, eh? Well then, my dear friends, if you thought changing folks into pigs was impressive, then you're gonna love this. I've got something very special for you here. <coughs> I'll surely go to have inverted bedtime, boy. Look queer. Hey, is this game still worth getting today? I have the new paper, Mary, but I'm not very far yet. Seems fun. Yeah, I'd say if you're enjoying the um, later paper, Mary, this is definitely the um, high point of the series, so it's well worth playing. I mean, it has a lot more. Basically, the partners have a lot more character to them, if that makes sense. How do you like them apples? Now that's magic, people. Now you're fighting yourself. Ha! I'm like a dang genius. <coughs> so, 
so yep, I absolutely recommend this game every opportunity I get. Origami King. Uh, I think they've changed it so it's <coughs> less uh, like um, these, this attack system, more like a puzzle, isn't it? Yik 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 yik! Hold on. What? What? Huh? You beat me? Yep, there we go. That's definitely the end of this chapter. Absolutely the uh, end of this chapter. That was a very simple boss, no? <coughs> well, I guess I'm just going to call the stream here. Mario defeated the corpse gorge of the creepy steeple and found the fourth crystal star. The people of Twilight Town have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Maria's quest to collect all seven crystal stars will be done in no time. With his back to the creepy steeple, Maria sets out towards his bright future. Well, I guess I'll just, um... Pour out some tea. I mean, maybe we could just play the next chapter. Wow, are you kidding me? What a total pushover. See, Gambella agrees with you. Well, we got the crystal stars, so let's get out of here. Dun dun dun! Oh wait, the camera's this way. Dun dun dun! Slurple the purple. <coughs> yeah, what I kind of liked about it was um. Just after you defeat the boss, you can actually hear that um, the fake Mario started using Mario's sound effects. <laughs> and the um, real Mario's animations changed slightly. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom headquarters. <laughs> yes! This time you'll get to the Mario and get his map. Wait. With this super bomb. Wait, super bomb here? There's no way we can fail. No, not likely. Uh. Vivian, hand me that glorious super bomb. Huh? Vivian, don't you dare! Does that huh, mean what I think it does? I never had it. You're holding it just two seconds ago. You said it was too important to trust me with. 
Oh, you terrible liar! Stop making up stories to cover for yourself. If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it, and obviously you lost it. Or are you trying to imply that I lost it, you lollygagging worm? I... N no, of course not, Bedlam. Well, we can't do much without it now, can we? Oh, you're such an idiot. Very well, I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. Uh, more like it's um, actual Mario, but the fake Mario has stolen his identity. So why don't you look for it, while Marin and I go and take a well-earned siesta? How do you take a siesta when there's no midday? And if you don't find it, well, you know what'll happen, don't you? I get punished? That's right, you little twit, so get cracking. Come, Marilyn, let's leave this useless little fool to her chore. Ugh. So, yep, as I frequently like to say, <coughs> Vivian in the original Japanese version is a trans girl and was actually being misgendered by her sister instead of just called ugly and stupid. Which is good because uh, most of us don't actually have to present with one or the other. We have to present with both. Alright, so in the um, English dub, whether it's US or British, uh, she's called, uh, she's just portrayed as a cisgender girl. And the fact she's trans never came comes up. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, you better run. Cheap. Sleep. Uh oh. Ouch. Okay, I'm in trouble here. Sweet. Self replenishing mushrooms. <sighs> so, yeah, the main knock on effect of um, Mario becoming a shadow like this is that uh, basically I can't go, go back through the pipe to. main hub worlds because you need to
yeah, it's actually kind of cool. It reminds me of um, Shadow Mary in Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Okay, I'm just going to nope out of here. Flowers love Mario. Yeah, you better run. That's true, at least it wasn't a paraglumba. Shamish. Ouch. Charging up. I'm in trouble if I don't do something about that. Oh, good. <coughs> and I'm gonna level up, so all the damage I took is irrelevant. Yes, please. Wow. Oh, I'm not going to 
fight these guys. I have chosen the way of pacifism. Ish. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. Yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name. <coughs> and now I really dig this body too, man. I can jump now. And hey, you're so popular around here. I get mobbed. I just love being here. Yeah, it's so cool. I don't think I ever want to stop. Oh dear. So you feel that out right now, right, Slick? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, I need to take their name and body too. <coughs> Which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. That's not enough either. I aim to erase you for good. Yeah, sorry, I can't really think of a voice to give him. I guess it'd be unsporting to ruin you about a challenge. So I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give you your name and body back. What do you say, Slick? This'll be fun, right? Now guess, what's my name? Hit me with your best shot. Hit me with your best shot. Oh, what's this? We're missing a letter. Amando, little nobody. Who'd they make kid that? Prepare for doom, slick. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And don't even think about running from battle here. No running. <laughs> yeah, that's a dead giveaway, isn't it? Yep, he's invincible. Let's get out of here. <coughs> You'd think that the fact he's speaking out loud would give him a way to his partners, wouldn't you? Ah, oh, that's no fun! I'm sure Luigi would know. He's his brother, after all. The curse has been lifted since Mario beat that bad, bad ghost. Ah, that, that perfect red cap, the scuffed blue overalls, he's the absolute best. Why don't you do something about your appearance and spiff up like Mario, huh? <coughs> now that Mario took care of the curse monster, I don't have to guard the gates. But here I am, doing it anyway. Yeah, just keep the weird ass out, you know? Yeah, you look kind of weird. If I had to classify you, you'd be a bad guy. I've been thinking lately. I don't really want to be a pig, but being a crow could be okay. No, because then I could fly. Nobody's ever heard of a flying pig. <coughs> Explain police helicopters then. The curse was oink lifted. That Mario saw it or something. Ah, I can't stop winking. What should I do? Hello, hello. What's all this then? <coughs> yep. So that annoying disco gu French disco guy was uh, apparently the. Uh... Oh, this is awkward. I guess the pig wasn't my husband after all. This guy is younger than cuter than my husband, actually. A strapping fellow. Perhaps it's time I traded in for a new husband. Oh, I'm only fooling. Greetings, welcome to the Twilight Shop. What do you need? Oh, it's a good thing, um...
It's a good thing um, he still has access to his normal stash then. Right, let's continue. Spoke to that guy a moment ago. The moon granted my wish. I never turned into a pig. Somebody living on the moon must have heard my wish. Who do you think lives there? Could this be foreshadowing? <laughs> Too funny. You must be a dreamer. What an imagination. <coughs> As suspected, they are the Travelling Sisters Free. Hey, we are the Travelling Sisters Free. Hey, I think we were pigs until a moment ago. No way, we're not pigs. But if we were, we'd be such cute ones, huh? Thanks to Mario, our village is back to normal at last. If you see Mario, you should thank him too. <laughs> okay, they're disappointed they didn't get their pork chops. Fair enough. Travelling pants, as in the sisterhood they were. Oh, what'll I do? What'll I do? Poor me. Yeah. Poor Vivian. I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my sister's going to punish me again. It's just not here. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Then. You got a super bomb. Wouldn't they even be punished if she doesn't find this? Yeah, it's okay for where I got what you mean. <coughs> really should watch that movie. What? You found it? Thank you so much. Thank goodness. At least I wouldn't get punished now. Oh no! It's... It, it's broken. It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What'll I do? What'll I do? I guess it was just meant... I was just meant to be punished for life. I'm sure Mario is gonna whatever the opposite of bomb disposal is. Oh, don't even bother trying. It's really busted. What'll I do now, huh? My sister will be back any minute now. <coughs> but I do appreciate your offer. Thank you. Oh, no, the bomb's dead. Hey, wait a sec just a second. What's your name anyway? Won't you tell me? What? I can't hear you. Your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. I mean, you know, my name's dead. Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen? That's absolutely crazy. You have way worse problems than I do. And you're worried about me that whole time. That's so kind. Alright, that's it. I'm going to help you get back your name, and your body, and your friends. Hey, that's okay. Don't worry about my problems. 
I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyway. And I feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. It's the right thing to do. Ah. Oh. So, <laughs> there we go. <coughs> and here we have it, my favourite partner in the whole game. Vivian's abilities, a primer. Press X to have Vivian pull Mary into the shadows where they can hide. Yeah, move along, Boo. Nothing to see here. When hiding in the shadows, press X to re-emerge. In battle, Vivian can set enemies on fire with her Shade Fist. Or she and Mary can hide in the shadows to avoid damage with her Veil move. I mean, to be fair, her um, default expression is a smile, so... I guess we need to find out that goes for your name first, huh? That'll be a start. Now how are we going to get that kind of information? Oh hey, I saw an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around. But they're actually really well informed from all that flying and eavesdropping. Plus, you know, they're actually robots. The government wants us to believe birds are real, but they replaced them years ago. With my power, you can listen in on their conversations without them knowing. Yep, she is a cutie. Absolutely goals. So in addition to villagers, let's also try and get some info for the lo from the local birds. That's the least I could do for you with my powers. <coughs> you also move in here. A shadow like you, you'd fit in right in. Know what I mean? thinking lately, thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. Yeah, tell me about it. We've got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind or hydroelectric or... I think solar energy probably has the greatest potential. Okay, the birds are woke. This twilight world is too full of pain and contradiction, too full of broken dreams. Perhaps it was only given wings so that I could flee the terror of mundanity. Okay, Edgar Allan Crow there. Hey Maud, listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, is taking his SATs this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, bless my feathers, Flo. I apologise again for my attempts at American accents. Yes, I'm a novelist. It's not that easy on the eyes, but I read by moonlight. So what kind of books do you like anyway? Shouldn't you spend your time reading something a little more worthwhile? Rude. 
So that Mario guy I'm meeting with the mayor. He's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody know even knows. Humans are so dumb. Makes me want me to peck the their noses. The only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked under the creepy steeple, I hear. Because you know, if no one knows your name, then you can use unstoppable magic. But if someone says your real name to you, then your magic will stop working. So I wonder how all this is going to end up then. Okay, our path is clear. Did you hear that? If we search under the creepy steeple, maybe we can find out that guy's real name. <coughs> Let's go to creepy steeple. Yep, I think like half of the things Vivian says are things I've said myself. Adverbatum. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for ya. I would have done this back in town, but that wouldn't have looked very good now, would it? So this is the one who stole your name and body. Uh, he looks sort of familiar to me. Alright, can the chatter. Here's the deal. You get a chance, then I stomp you. If you guess my real name, then you get your body and name back. Fire away, no name. Okay. Well, first we've got to learn his name, then we get to beat him up for real. Okay, so what do we want to guess his name is? <coughs> no way, that can't be right, can it? Commando, little nobody, who'd name a kid that? Prepare for doom, slick. Right, so let's -a run. <coughs> Tactics. Run away. Free, free, Samaria, Samaria ran away. See ya. That's no fun. <laughs> he must have been hiding there in ambush, waiting for you to show up. Well, forget him. Let's go get your name back. Bonk. on the screen. Gotcha. Not good, not good.
so there's not really much point in fighting anything right now because I only get one point of um, XP for it, so let's just make a run for it. Then we make a run back and that'll be the chapter. There's no place to hide. So how happens everyone's evening going anyway? Or whatever time of day it is for you. Ninja Vanish. That's good. It's good that you're doing good. Because everything is good is good. And what's not good is not good, but things that are good are good. I have no idea what that was supposed to mean. I love how cute Vivian is when she punches something. It's not actually like a proper punch, she's just like and she's relying on her fire-related powers to do the actual damage. Sometimes you dodge into the perfect tank. I uh, hope you have a nice evening, Froy. Thanks for dropping by and I hope to see you next stream. Oh, 
plenty of time. Okay, so remember, down this well there was that obstacle I could only pass with. Yes. have enough to upgrade Vivian when I get back. here. Okay, a key. Ah, the lesser P. Helpful. Power plus. Nice. Slots if I got open. Okay, haven't really used those much, so nice, nice. Right. Uh, what happened to those two weirdos who were here? Oh, whatever. It was not always nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is, that no one know his real name. Locking me up here just because I know it. And making me guard the name stupid missing lesser. No way to treat a parrot. I really want a cracker too, Bliss. You're a big meanie. When's feeding time, huh? Okay, I'm just going to write that down here. Because I'm going to forget the spelling otherwise. Two O's, two S's. Discover Mario through the eyes of Polly. <laughs> you heard that? We heard you, little birdie. Dupliss, that's his name. Now let's get your name and body back from that meanie. <coughs> and we'll teach him a lesson or two while we're at it. in here again. Ah oh, yeah, a badge. Let's just get out of here.
Ooh, the power, the power. So, uh, it's getting a bit late now. Obviously, I started this stream late because uh, of work obligations, so... And... Well, I'm feeling kind of sleepy anyway, so... I'll call it here. So, yep. I'll be streaming again on Friday, and I'll, uh... facing the uh, boss and uh, wrapping up this chapter. Thanks everyone for coming. Do apparently only have one view right now, but that's fine. I'm amazed I have more than zero. Let's just find someone to read. When Twitch decides to load. I was kind of hoping 8-Bit Goggles would still be live for Phoenix Wright, but looks like he's uh, <coughs> finished. Looks a lot darker than it is. <coughs> oh, guess I'll uh, just uh, raid his curseness then. Once again, I'll uh, be back on Friday. Uh, Streams of my uh, uploads of my past streamer being uploaded to YouTube as we speak, quite literally. So uh, hopefully I'll have that all the way up in the uh, within the next week. It's in 15 parts, so it could take a while. And after that happens, obviously I'll start uploading my uh, previous Paper Mario streams, and we'll all be caught up. Thanks again for coming by and have a good evening. Is it Teresa? <laughs> <coughs> I've heard.